Greetings fellow Gorehounds and welcome back to a Blood Splatter vlog. I'm the Horror Guru. And I'm Count Jackula. And today we're going to be talking about Baba Yaga, Tale of the Dark, Terror of the Dark Forest, Terror of the Dark Forest, um, which is a Russian horror film about a group of kids dealing with the Baba Yaga showing up and trying to, you know, eat them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is a really good example of a movie that I, in, in America, I... I think the, le the actual legitimate uh, rating should be PG-13. Oh yeah, I would agree. Yeah, yeah, you know, because it's, it. this is PG-13 pushing into R as opposed to R being held back. Now, I've seen a lot of like, like uh, reviews of this movie that were extremely negative, and I think almost all the negativity comes from a misunderstanding of the movie. And that's this. Don't go into this movie thinking it's an adult horror film. Yeah, it, it's it's a kid's horror film. It's yeah. the gate. It's like the gate. Yeah, like the gate. Like the gate, like gremlins, like um, uh, poltergeist horror films that are kind of intended for a younger audience. So as a result of that, it's about as subtle as a brick to the face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a very over the top film. Um, and yeah, the witch, the witches show up and they're just like, <laughs> yeah. And I understand if you're not aware of that going in and you're just expecting like a spooky, like, like ghost story kind of thing, then you're going to be weirded out by how not that it is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I, I mean, it was pretty, I thought going in that this was going to be like a, a, I don't know how else to put it, but a serious adult horror yeah, movie. Yeah. But it was, it very quickly was obvious. That it was like, oh no, this is like. This is like a kid. This is like a, a movie for the tough kids. Yeah, yeah. You know, the kids that can handle it, but still kids. Oh, absolutely. It's also got a little bit of that kind of like '80s style kids adventure feel to it. Yeah. You know, like we've, yeah. get, we've been getting a revival of that lately, ever since Stranger Things. Yeah, exactly. Um, but it's it, it's it kind of got absolutely that absolutely has that that same kind of vibe, but it, where you have like a group of kids um, that have to venture off into unknown worlds to battle things that are, are beyond their uh capabilities but they do it anyway yeah um, yeah yeah it's it, yeah i i think what was it like someone described it as the goonies meets the witch yeah that's a good way to put it yeah that's a really good way to put it um so like if you can't tell we really enjoyed this oh movie. yeah no this movie was a lot of fun this movie yeah. I, I i enjoyed the hell out of it i also like there's a couple of things i liked about it that aren't even like Okay, the movie itself is great, but I also liked the interesting peek into like Russian home life I got out of this movie. Because, yeah, like, yeah. I don't watch Russian movies very often. I've only seen like maybe I, like the amount I can count on my on two hands. Yeah, of Russian movies. Um, but I've never seen one about like suburban life. Yeah, yeah. This seems to be this seems to be about an aspect of Russia, uh, particularly Moscow, that we don't think about. Uh, which are these kind of, it looks like they, they are like these, they're, they're the equivalent of planned neighborhoods. Yeah. The, 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 it was really interesting. Like the, the characters in this movie live in this apartment complex, but it's like a really interestingly designed apartment complex that I've never quite seen before. Yeah. But it looks like it's like from the future. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it looks like a real place. Yeah. I mean, it looks like location shooting. But like the area that they're in, all the apartment complexes, they all like look like those kind of planned neighborhoods that you see um, popping up now and then. Um, and it's very interesting because like, I was thinking as I was watching the movie, what my what my stereotypes of what Russia is like in my head. And the movie was none of that. Oh no, no, so not, kinda, not at all. It was kind of like somewhat mind blowing actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This felt, this it, it's really weird because it felt almost slightly Americanized, mm -hmm. but I don't know, how, but I'm willing to believe that that's just my fucked up stereotype. Oh yeah, I, I had that you same know? thought. Yeah. I, I was sitting there watching the movie thinking like, wow, my, my, my vision of what Russia is like has been completely destroyed by like all the Cold War shit. Yeah. As well as um, uh, the, the movies and stuff that I've seen that often aren't about this type of like this part of Russia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's usually about like the city. Yeah. You know? Like like I have seen many like Russian movies about like inner city scumbags, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, but I've never seen a Russian movie that was set in like a Russian suburb. And yeah, so... yeah, yeah. It's like this is the nice suburb where all the up <laughs> yeah. and you know, up and coming people live and all that shit. Um but I also like that the movie The Yupskis. The yeah. movie narratively, it's great that it's set there because it's about the conflict between that intersecting with like the old world. Yeah. 
You know, like the old the old world of myths and legends and fairy tales. Um, that's another thing. That's that's a word that I was looking fairy for. Fairy tale. Yeah, fairy tale. Yeah. It's got that dark fantasy fairy tale thing going on. Um, yeah, yeah, and and it's it's probably one of the better ones I've seen in recent years. In I would that agree. Regard. I would agree. Um, it does a great job with that stuff. Yeah, because the 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 other one that tried the last movie I remember seeing that tried to do this was like. Uh, 2009, which was Darkness Falls. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's been better ones since then, but yeah, that movie's pretty bad. Yeah, I always, every time someone tries to do like a fairy tale horror story, I flash back to Darkness Falls, and I'm like, oh no, this is awful. Like, yeah, there's definitely bad. been better ones. Um, oh god, uh, we watched one recently. Ah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. It's, not, it's this not, this not this movie. Not this movie. Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, this this movie does the does the, the dark fairy tale thing really well. I mean, I say dark fairy tale, but real fairy tales are actually pretty dark. So yeah, yeah, yeah. This ain't this ain't no Disney shit. You know, it's about a witch that kidnaps people. And when she kidnaps you, everyone forgets about you. Um, and and uh, I also I also like. Okay, so this movie is about a a kid um, and and his dad and step parent, and they the dad the step dad and step parent has just had a new daughter, and so the kid is dealing with the fact that like he's still struggling with the fact that his mom died um, in a car accident. A yeah, and he's, he, he's a, and he's supposed to be like t somewhere between twelve and fourteen. Yeah, he's young, young. And but he hasn't quite accepted the step parent yet, and I like that setup because it's a perfect setup for something like Baba Yaga. Well, yeah, it's the classic fairy tale setup. It's like, oh, there's gonna be a wicked stepmother, yeah. you know, or some shit like that, you know. And that's what I kind of like about it because it makes the metaphor of Baba Yaga in this case like like really sing. You know? Yeah, it does. You know, and I, I really dug that. And plus. Like there's there's a point in which the kids actually venture into like a Baba Yaga world and that shit was great. Yeah, the only but the only thing that I would warn everybody about is this. It has a lot of things that you you will expect from a movie about Baba Yaga, but it's a very 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 different take on that myth. That's true. That's true. Some things that I was expecting didn't end up happening. Yeah. Um, in particular, Baba Yaga's design, but we'll... Yeah, we'll get to that, because <laughs> we'll that's that. kind of... that You don't get to see her until the very end of yeah. the movie. I, I loved the three kids that are at the center of this movie. Um, uh, even the one that you start off hating. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, the movie does this really cool hat trick where it, like, introduces you to... It introduces you to the three kids, and you have your opinions of them at the very beginning, but as the movie goes on, you learn more and more about why they tick and how they, yeah. how they are the way they are. Um, and it, it, it endears you to all of them as the movie goes on, and I, I really liked the way they handled that. Yeah. Um, and, uh, I... Man, I have no idea where this movie is streaming right now. I, I... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We 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 originally mistook the widow. This movie yeah. for the widow, which is another movie about a witch that's set in Russia that has yeah. some of the same cast members in it. And we ended up so watching, that was confusing. And we ended up watching the widow and being like, wait, that's not this. This isn't the movie we thought it was. We thought this was the Baba Yaga movie, and we're like, oh no, the Baba Yaga movie is actually called oh, Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, and the widow, the widow was interesting because that was basically like Blair Witch with a wit, Blair Witch, but in Russia. Yeah. <laughs> um, but like, it's half found footage, half not. It's a weird movie. Yeah, like that's that's a very. Th we did we flog that one? We did not flog that one because you couldn't remember what happened in the movie. Right, right. It's not. It, yeah, it was. I was, was kind of confused. To be fair to him and myself. Uh, we were extremely tired when we watched that movie, and both of us were passing out. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. I actually had to I had to rewatch the movie another day and be like, oh, so that's what was going on there because I I passed out. Yeah, like, but it also wasn't it, it wasn't the it, it didn't feel like a burning recommendation. Well, no, like I I didn't I liked the movie a lot better watching it the second time because then I got everything that was happening. But it was basically Blair Witch. Yeah, you know, like yeah, yeah. At that, I definitely got. Yeah. You know. you know. um, and now that we're talking about a completely different movie, we should probably move on to the spoilers. Yeah. yeah. Baba Yaga and the Terror of the Dark Forest is currently available on various streaming platforms to rent, so pick your poison and enjoy. I, I actually give this a thumbs up. Yeah, total thumbs up. This movie is a thoroughly enjoyable movie. And uh, with that said, 
let's move on to spoilers. There is a lot going on in this movie, oh, uh, yeah. narratively, but it does that really good fairy tale thing of everything that comes in eventually gets weaved yes. into the ending. You know, um, it does. A, everything really comes together extremely well. Like, oh man, what's a good example of fuck. the guy's missing daughter? Yes. Oh my yeah. god. God, that yeah. that subplot was so fucking yeah, heart wrenching for me. There's a subplot about this guy who has a missing daughter, and that becomes really important. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, I also, uh, man, I like the bully kid. Like, oh yeah, yeah. When the you bully kid when he has his face turned. Like yeah. you meet the, you meet this bully kid at first, and he's first he's not bullying the main character, but he's going after this girl, and the main character tries to step in and help, and of course gets his face punched in. And yeah, stuff. yeah. Um, but like. The bully kid just seems like obnoxiously evil at the beginning of the yeah. movie. Um, but then you kind of find out that like he is treated like utter shit back at home and he's actually yeah. an orphan um, himself. Yeah. Um, or they say they mentioned his mom, but like you got this impression that there was someone who was raising him. Yeah, yeah. Him. Well, he's like in state care. Oh, okay. Gotcha. You know? Gotcha. Um, so he's not like, like a full on orphan, but his parents aren't there. Yeah. Um, he. Once you get to see the way he's treated and you start to, like, understand why he behaves the way he behaves. Yeah, you're like, oh, no wonder you're an asshole, kid. Yeah. You know, geez. Um, same thing with the girl, because the girl constantly does this thing where she gets mad when the main character tries to help her. Um, there's this constant, like, I had this handled, I could have done this. And it gets a little irritating for a while, but then... When you see the way her mom acts, yeah, and all the pressure the mom puts on her, that like, like, oh, you gotta, you gotta do that piano piano lesson one more time. You gotta do it more perfect. On yeah. top of the whole like, don't trust men. You can't be around yeah, men. Thing. Yeah, you, you can only trust yourself. Yeah, you, know? you understand why she she developed this. Like, I got it handled. I don't need your help. Yeah, yeah. They they go, go, they do a good job of showing you why these kids behave the way that they mm -hmm. do because they're all little at, at the in the beginning they're all shits yes you know which is generally it's actually really good oh, yeah. for this type of movie it's like yeah the kids start out as little shits and then they grow by the end of it and they become friends yeah. by the end of yeah, it yeah 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 i'm always a sucker for like um, uh, uh, characters coming together, becoming friends, and then the power of their friendship defeating the uh, yeah, the yeah. Well, entity. it's like yeah, it's a friendship you made you. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> a less okay, a less like literal version. Yeah, of yeah, that, you yeah, know? yeah, 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 let, yeah. You know, <laughs> but you know, it tur turns out the real gold was the friends we made yeah. along the way, kind yeah, of thing. Yeah. You know, I'm always a sucker for those kinds of movies, and and this movie does that really well. Um, <laughs> Yeah, the um, there's a lot. Of, there are a lot of really nice details in this movie, mm -hmm. and it's really fun to watch. Oh man, the, the, this movie doesn't just have Baba Yaga; it has all of Baba Yaga, Yaga's. Well, sorry, the minions. Yeah, as well. it has her minions as well. Um, yeah. and I really like the way they did the uh, the birds. Yeah, the uh, navy, navi. Yeah, yeah, because they do them as like they they disguise themselves in these like human like forms. Um, but when you see their real forms, you can see like the bird peeking out of the face, and yeah. they got like they got these weird like metal legs that are like yeah 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 they got like well like but, well that was that was a little confusing because usually Baba Yaga has one leg yeah so, well that's you why know? for most of the movie I was referring to that one as Baba Yaga yeah that's because that's what I thought I thought that too not yeah. realizing that 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 was actually a bait and switch that's actually the bird or the the, the Navi yeah. Um, <laughs> Um, uh, and, and I also just like the way Bobby Yaga operates in this movie, like sending her birds to basically be like, oh, one of them's a piano teacher, one of them's a uh, housekeeper, one of them's a nanny, and like yeah, yeah. So we're just, they're just, her minions are just. She has like one primary minion that is fucking each of these households up. I also like the just the overall like conceit of. Um, uh, the changeling aspect, like like you know how in changeling lore, like like they take yeah, they leave the doll and they replace and, yeah. it. Yeah, I like I like the whole like Back to the Future, like your photos disappearing because people are forgetting you and you like are erased from existence when they take you. Um, I really like the way they handled that because that's like terrifying as a kid. Oh yeah, the idea that you're not only gonna disappear, no one's gonna know you even existed. Yep, <laughs> you know. Yep. 
Like that made the stakes super high towards the end of the movie when they start disappearing and shit. And I really like that. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was really good. Um, it's really good. It's really nice and spooky. It, I, yeah, I really loved it. I yeah. really like this movie. Yeah. I, I, I wish I could be more elaborate, but I am like super tired all of a sudden. <laughs> well, it's also, it's also, this is also a movie where the fun of the movie is in going on the ride with and it. watching it all play out and yeah. watching all the details come back and circle around and stuff and it's just it's a really well constructed movie which is why it made me sad when i looked up and i saw like all the negative reviews and then when i read them i'm like oh i see what happened you guys you guys had the same thing we had where you thought it was like a super serious horror movie like like like, like a babadook yeah or something yeah, like that yeah. but that's with, really what i really did think it was going to be yeah like that. you thought it was going to be like that it was going to be like baba yaga but as the babadook or something like that but you what you ended up getting instead was a kids adventure fairy tale movie with a lot of horror stuff in it yeah um and you didn't know a lot of people obviously instead of going with the ride they just started yeah, rejecting they just the movie. Got annoyed, yeah. yeah. Which is really too bad because the movie's actually really good. Yeah, it is. It is. And I highly recommend it. Um, and with that said, where can they find you, Count Jagula? Well, you can find me on Twitter at Jack Satan Wave. You can find me on Twitch, Count underscore Jackula, where I stream every Thursday and Sunday at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Love to see you there. I am also here on YouTube on Channel Planet Dracula. And I sometimes stream there when I'm a little tired of Twitch's shit, and I'm willing to risk YouTube shit. Yep. Well, it's a it's a wicked wicked dance we play, and you can also find me on Instagram at Satanic Jacula, where I uh, apparently I'm there more often now, and it's becoming my primary life. Hey, it works for you. Yeah, yeah, it's working. Yeah. So, what about you? I will tell you in a second, because I just realized we never actually talked about the Baba Yaga and the design oh, of that stuff in some of the... right. Like okay, we, we so, alluded to it. Yeah, so the design of the Baba Yaga is unlike any other. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not going to get... You don't get the old woman on the pestle. Although she does live in a house that's, like, raised on stilts to, yeah. you know, because, you know, she was now chicken legs on it. Um, I also want to point out this movie does not pull punches. There is a point where she just straight up eats a kid. Like, oh yeah, it happens oh, yeah. off screen. You see the kid getting pulled away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then but, you hear it. And... Yeah, but you know it yeah. happens. <laughs> you know this thing, like you know, this is a baby eating monster. <laughs> yeah. You know, but the entire time, like the entire um, place is like surrounded by these red threads. Oh yeah. You yeah. know, and in the backstory, we find out that it was like the kid used the threads to trap Baba Yaga in yeah. the other world. Yeah. Um, and this entire movie is Baba Yaga trying to find a way to escape the other world because it turns out the main character, uh, he died once before. So he's been to the land of the dead. Yeah. Um, without realizing it because he was in the car accident with his mom. And yep. And all that. And so that detail comes important. Um, and so when they end up encountering the Baba Yaga, it's just encased in these threads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just like comes at them with the, within these threads. And it actually looked, re looked really cool. I love that. Like it was not what I was expecting, no. but I ended up really loving it. Especially like the way the webbing becomes like, like, like a spider's trap for everyone. Yeah. Yeah, it's because everything's supposed to look like a, it looks like a cat's cradle. Yeah. You know, like. <laughs> I also like that there was like a nest. Yes. Like Bobby Yaga yeah, had yeah, a nest. Cause she's, yeah, because <laughs> she, she has a nest, you know. Unfortunately, her house didn't have chicken legs. which were The like, house didn't get up and walk, which I was kind of <laughs> hoping for. But like, given everything else that happened, I was okay with it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That would have just been extra cool to have that monster house moment. <laughs> yeah, you know? that would have been. Oh my God, if it was like coming after the town. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That would have been great. <laughs> Sorry, I, I had realized that we had mentioned it, but we never actually elaborated on it in the spoiler section. So it was okay. Well, <laughs> yeah. You know, with that, well, you know, with that said, uh, keep watching fucked up movies. And where can they find you? <laughs> Y'all know me. I'm the horror guru. You can find me at the horror guru on Twitter, on Twitch, on Facebook, and even Instagram. Just look up the horror guru or blood splattered cinema, and I'll be there. Be sure to check out my Patreon, our Patreon pages. Um, if you'd like to help out us more directly and know that if you go the Patreon route, even a dollar a month can go a long way. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to ring that notification bell, um, because 
that will allow you to be notified of my videos immediately upon their upload. Sorry, my brain just like fucking. Oh yeah, kind of, oh, dude, the, the, the whole YouTube dance has got ridiculous <laughs> at this point. The amount of things I have to put at the end of these these videos is ah man. Yeah. I try to get it down to a science, but of course, when I stumble over my own words, I start to forget what I was going to say. Just... Yeah. But anyway, um, ring that notification bell. And uh, these videos do better the more engagement they get. So liking, commenting, subscribing, uh, whatever. Let's just end the vlog. The vlog's over. <laughs> Baba Yaga, Terror of the Dark Force, Ask for It by Name. Um, we ended up watching it dubbed. Um, I don't know if there's a subtitled version available, but the version that we were able to find was dubbed. So. Yeah, and it was fine. It was fine. It was fine. It was like watching a Fulci movie. Yeah. You know. With, without Bob. Without Bob. The yeah. kids in this without movie Bob. were way better than Bob. Oh, uh, yeah. Bob and the I will say this, though. There, there were moments where I was worried because it was reminding me of a Fulci movie that, like, the nanny was going to be some sort of bait and switch, like in uh, House yeah, by the Cemetery. Yeah, House by the Cemetery, <laughs> where it's just going to be like, what the fuck just happened? I was just like, oh, okay, it turns out the nanny just wants to fuck the dad. No, the nanny actually is. It actually is one of the birds. She's evil. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she's evil bird. And she wants to fuck the dad. Yeah. Um, I'm sure she's evil bird minion. And uh, with that said, peace out, and I'll catch y'all later. <laughs>